Hey everybody, uh, before we get started, I just want to say I announced on my uh, community page I'm going to do a kind of a history video on Garage Rock, American Garage Rock. Now, of course, Garage Rock being the 60s, and I will do a part two on the more 60s inspired 80s rock from Canada and other countries, but the first one will be about American Garage Rock from the 60s. And it's going to take me a lot of research, so I don't know when that video is going to come out, but it will come out eventually, hopefully soon. Speaking of Garage Rock, I wanted to do something different. I kind of want to do something what parallels it, but something I, but at the same time, I kind of want it to be about superheroes, so that's why I'm going to pitch you a movie, kind of like I do with the Superman movie. I want to do, I always wanted to see Spider-Man, because to me, Spider-Man, it was kind of a garage rock comic. Uh, if you don't know, Spider-Man was created by was co-created by Sam Lee and Steve Dicko, uh, who Steve Dicko was this amazing artist. Um, and he did a lot of great stuff for Spider-Man, Steve Dicko did, and I think he deserves way more credit in what he gets. But anyway, uh... I always thought of, like, that early one, especially Peter Parker, to be kind of this garage rock misunderstood character. Some may call it teen trash, huh? Well, I kind of wanted to talk about uh, this movie idea I had. I'm going to pitch it to you. I want to make kind of like a Spider-Man movie set in very early 1965 and basically what it is is um it kind of has this garage punk rock feel and when i say punk rock i'm not talking about punk rock from the 70s or modern punk rock i'm talking more about like the 60s garage punk it even has like the I even want to have, like, a lot of, like, background music, um, to be, like, garage-inspired. And even play some, like, garage bands from the 60s, like, the Sonics. Which would fit the bill, because the Sonics' first album did came out in 1965. That's how much of a nerd I am. And also, I kind of want, I want it. I don't want to change Peter Parker too, too much, but I do kind of want to make him a mixer of what he is, a nerd. But at the same time, I kind of want to make him full-on teenage, like, trash with, like, the turtleneck and, you know, stuff like that. Kind of like a beatneck, Uri hippie beatneck. And basically, the story... What I want to tell is basically, um, there's this interesting character in Spider-Man issue one, which I, I have, I'm not going to pull it out right now, but I have it, uh, where he's kind of a, his name is the comedian and he's kind of like a communist kind of, and basically if you know anything about comics, Back in the 60s, superheroes fought the communists. That was kind of our big thing back then. You know, with the space race and the, you know, Red Sair, you know. And I kind of want to make that kind of a tribute to those comics and him fighting, you know, this comedian guy. And basically, his power... Well, he doesn't really have power per se, but... He's like a mastermind. He can excise himself as anybody, including Spider-Man. So I want. So I, so I guess it's more aesthetics right now, but I at least do kind of have an idea. What do you guys think? Okay, I know it's not the queer idea of a 
of, of an idea, but it is an idea, and maybe I can fletch it. I'm actually planning to see if I can make a fan film. I don't know too much about copyrights, but I'm pretty sure you can make a fan film just as long as you're not making money off it. Okay, have a good day and bye.